hi welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see how we can able to set up wordpress site uh, on aws so let's get started so after logging in the aws you can able to see this uh, home page uh, where it, it is showing us light sale all the services will be there inside like recent service so i'm going to go with the light sale so light sale is a platform where uh, we can able to uh, set up the small amount of uh, instances we can create and we can deploy any software on it or predefined software also we can choose from the uh, instance templates so uh, in this uh, i haven't done deployed yet so once you click on this create instance you will be able to see that uh, pick your instance image so we can able to uh, choose between linux or uh, microsoft so in the mic linux uh, images we have wordpress wordpress multi-site and those kind of things so here we are going to see how we can able to deploy the wordpress so we are going to select this wordpress uh, blueprint but uh, if you are already familiar with linux and how to install wordpress and those kind of things you can able to choose the os only so where you can able to get the only os based uh, instances otherwise you can choose wordpress this is auto like pre uh, installed software will be there in the uh, instance so once we select the wordpress we need to like uh, we need to choose the uh, key la key ssh key pair so i have already have the default ssh key so i am not going to go with that and also it is showing that choose your instance plan in this plans we have uh, free tiers also so dollar 3.5 and five dollars and ten dollars these are the three months free plans we can able to like choose uh, free uh, wordpress instance for three months after that it will be charged uh, whatever the price mentioned here so i'm going to go with uh, this five dollar uh, uh, plan in this plan i'm going to get five uh, one gb of uh, ram memory and then two core cpus and 40 gb ssd 1 db of transfer so this is uh, more than enough for uh, testing projects so if you are going to go with build a big site you can able to choose uh, this 10 dollar or 20 dollar or more so once you choose that uh, plan then you need to give a name for your instance uh, for identifying purposes so i'm going to give uh, the name as uh, my wordpress so we can able to give the key only tags or key value tags you can able to do that i'm not going to do that, that those are the optional things uh, if you want to differentiate if you have a lot of instances in the wordpress uh, instances in the aws you can able to like tagging between like differentiating between them you can able to give the tags and uh, for your identity purposes you can able to give that so once i click on create instance the instance will be created and we will be having uh, uh, that IP address and also like uh, we can uh, that will be installed in shortly so once that is installed we can able to go to this IP address where we can able to see the WordPress is up and running up and running and then once we logged into it we can able to see all the features that WordPress has so right now it is showing as running but uh, we can go to this IP address and check whether it is running or not So it is showing like it is not connected yet so whether it is connected or not we need to check from this console uh, it is showing that uh, a terminal will be there for each instance to connect with or else you can able to copy this uh, ip address and go into terminal and then you can use that ssh key so for this video i am going to choose this uh, in browser terminal so it is saying that connecting to server but uh, sometimes it's take uh, some more time uh, two to five minutes so we can wait for that so now you can see that uh, login we, we have logged in successfully and we can see that uh, this is saying that bitnami uh, instance template and the wordpress is 6.4.2.5.1 uh, and once we go to this uh, ip address also we can see that wordpress has been installed and it is saying that uh, the random template uh, has been installed 
and we, we need to logged into it and we need to customize this one to do that to just type wp iphone admin and go into it it will ask for the username and password we will get that the username and password in a minute so uh, after login you can place ls uh, command and then it will show the bitnami credentials file so once you cat uh, space once you do this you will be able to get the uh, username and password the default username and password is user and the this is the password uh, that we have so i will copy this password and paste it here once you logged in as you can see that uh, wordpress has been installed automatically from this live cell instance and we can able to see all those things and we can able to go to plugins and we can able to install the plugins and we can able to customize everything from uh, this uh, admins page so that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe and watch my videos thank you